what is up guys welcome back and today I have a you know a sort of different kind of video for you guys it's kind of Union Cross but it's si it's kind of like not Union Cross at the same time it's more or less just a Kingdom Hearts topic thing that that I've kind of read up on heard a lot about on YouTube and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it so of course you know that I am a huge Union Cross player I am one of the co-leaders to the Wayfinders if you guys want to join the Wayfinders, our Discord link is down below. Um, you can learn more about that in other videos I got. Um, it's a group for Union Cross. But what I've been hearing is that there's a lot going around saying that we might be seeing a, uh, a port of some sort of Union Cross as a game that's not on the phone, if that makes any sense. Like, you know how we have Kingdom Hearts re chain of memories people are saying that we might be seeing a kingdom hearts re union cross or or back cover or whatever whatever you know or key whatever which one that you think it would be called you know they're all the same game just it's it, it just goes into depth with all the different ones um but to me, I feel like that's not the case. I feel like Union Cross is going to stay a phone game. Um, although I would really love, I would definitely love if they brought that game to us somehow. Can you imagine if they made a Union Cross game for the PlayStation 4? And even if they made it, they can make it like Final Fantasy XIV where it's like an MMO, but it would be a Kingdom Hearts MMO. They're doing really good with Kingdom Hearts uh, not Kingdom Hearts, with Final Fantasy XIV. So, could you imagine if they went that route with Kingdom Hearts, though? Like, to me, I think that would be a really cool, different type of game. Because if you make it like an MMO, um, and the only real thing that they could do with Kingdom Hearts as an MMO is actually integrate it with Union Cross. Because Union Cross is the whole you as a Keyblade wielder before... The time period of Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3, and, and all the stuff that the story, all the base storyline stuff is with you as a Kingdom Hearts, you know, character. That is their, they could do that. They could honestly do that. They could have us do different daily things like they usually do, like our daily jewels and everything. Um, of course, we wouldn't have the metal system that would be completely out of the the question, you know, I mean, well, then again, you know, they put a card system in, in Union Cross, I mean, not in Union Cross, and I'll rechain of memories and chain of memories. So there, we can't say it's completely out of question, but I think that they would take the metal system out if they were to ever make this, which I honestly don't think they're going to make it because they're making too much money off of the phone game. But if they can make the game and have it where you just go through the story, make your own character, go through the story. It one, it'll be like the first Kingdom Hearts game where you can honestly make your own character. Um but if they actually just integrate everything that they they have in this game, have a different way of leveling up your I wouldn't say leveling up your keyblade, a different way of uh having like a, a loot box kind of thing which i know if you're watching this right now you're like no we don't need no loot box thing but that is what holds union cross up there because we're spending money if you are a pay to play like me we're spending money to get these different things you know what i mean and we're keeping the game up there and working because we're spending money i mean that's that's really what it is um, it'll be a big rework if they do make a game, if it's story-based or not, or just like Union Cross, just a different way of playing. Um, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to bring up this topic because I've been reading it, like, everywhere, even though I feel like being the person I am, I would love to see this game. I would love to see it. I think it would be perfect, I think it would be a perfect way to make a multiplayer Kingdom Hearts game, because you can just do it. You know what I mean? It's it's like a easy way for them to do it. 
But I just honestly don't think that we would see this. I just want to bring it up because I've been reading it, I've been seeing it in YouTube videos, I've just been I've been seeing it everywhere. And I just want to put my three cents into it, you know? Um tell me what you guys think in the comments down below because I really I just want to know what you guys think about the topic and if you've actually heard anything like this because I've been seeing it in multiple spots. Maybe it's because I'm digging too much into Kingdom Hearts videos because once I start digging at one, I start digging at them all. It's just how it goes with me. Um, but just tell me down in the comments below what you guys think. As always, thank you for watching and stopping in on this video. Remember, I'm still doing giveaways. I'm giving away another copy of a standard copy of Kingdom Hearts 3 for PS4 and Xbox One. And I'm still giving away two Funko Pop mystery boxes for Kingdom Hearts 3. They're also being given away as well. Um, so yeah, guys, all you got to do is subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. And I advise you to hit the bell notification button because... I do randomly just upload the videos of me giving out the stuff, so I would hate for you to win, not knowing that you won, never respond to me, and then I have to redraw. I would just hate to have that happen. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.